And we're back, guys. Welcome to Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. Look, I am so tired of them doing this. They put all the good matches on literally at the same time. They have to do better with scheduling. Now, the question has come up in the past about poor female tennis ratings. And we know of all the, the huge sports organizations, we know the WTA, the WTA is one of the smallest, right? We know that in terms of funding, in terms of, rev, in terms of revenue that the sport produces, we know the WTA is amongst the lowest. However, they treat these ladies very well. They pay them well, thanks to Serena and Venus. But listen, we have to do a better job of putting these matches on so fans can can see all of the great tennis players that the WTA has to offer. Now, you're going to make fans choose between watching Iga and Coco. I mean, I, I have to pick the Coco match because I think it's much more exciting to see how Coco, a young teenager, deals with the power of a Grand Slam champion, Asapenko. Asapenko's got rockets. That's not going to be an easy test for Coco. But this match here, I mean, I think it's... You know, I would love to see Elena pull this off. I would love to see a showdown with Elena and Coco. I think that's Coco's best chance to make it to the final. Eagle's going to be a very difficult match. I don't think Coco has the answers now. We'll see. I mean, she has to look good, especially with her offseason training. I don't think she has the answers, though, to get past Iga. You know, Iga just kind of bullies her uh, with her pattern play. But listen, guys, the fans are excited. Iga breaks back. We're tied up at three. <laughs> get your popcorn. But I got to go to Coco. See you soon, guys.